Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this overhanging beam. We have to find out the support reactions and then to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. This overhanging beam has been loaded with three different concentrated loads. The two loads are acting at the end of this beam, at the two ends of this beam, and one pointed load acting at the center of this beam. The magnitude of the loads are 4, 5 and 3 kN and all the dimensions of this beam are given to us. So first to find out the support reactions, so let's consider this is support A and this is support B. Now this force let's suppose is acting in upper direction the reaction RA and this reaction is also acting in the upper direction is RB. Now we have to find out this RA and RB. So, to find out this RA and RB, we have to take the summation of moment at any point equal to zero. Let's assume that summation of moment at point B equal to zero. Now, the clockwise moment are taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. This is just my sign convention for this beam. So, the moment that will be in clockwise direction will be considered as positive and the moment in anti-clockwise direction will be considered as negative. So, starting with this 4 kN, it is acting in the downward direction and it will create moment in this way about point B. So, it will create anti-clockwise moment about point B. You can see that it will create anti-clockwise moment about point B. So, it will be negative. So, it will be minus 4 multiplied with the moment term because moment is equal to the force multiplied with the moment term. So, force is minus 4 and moment arm is this distance from this 4 kN up to point B which is 3 plus 4 plus 4 it means 11. Now RA is acting in upward direction so it is positive because it is creating clockwise moment about point B. It is creating clockwise moment about point B so it is positive RA multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point up to point B which is 4 plus 4 8 meter. This 5 kN is again acting in the anti-clockwise direction about point B. So it will create anti-clockwise moment about point B. So it will be again negative minus 5 multiplied with the moment term. The moment term is this distance 4 meter. This 3 kN is acting in the downward direction and it creates moment about point B in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive 3 multiplied with the moment term. The moment term is also 3 meter. So summation of all the moment about point B equal to 0. Now shifting all these values into the right side except 8RA. So we got 44 plus 20 minus 9. So by adding these we got 55 and by sub dividing this 55 by 8 we got RA equal to 6.87 kN. So this is the support reactions RA. So RA is 6.87 kN. How to find out the RB? Let's assume that the summation of, we are not taking this equation again, but we are assuming that summation of vertical force is equal to zero by using this equilibrium equation. You can use this equilibrium equation as well, but I want to find out by this equation which is summation of vertical forces equal to zero and let's consider the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now the upward forces are RA and RB. So RA and RB are taken as positive and downward forces are minus 4, 5, 3 these are acting in downward so these all are negative. Summation of all forces are equal to zero now RB will be equal to 4 plus 5 plus 3 minus RA and we know that RA is 6.87 so it will be 12 minus 6.87 we got RB 5.125 kN this is RB 5.125 kN so first step was to find out the support reactions now we can draw the reference line in order to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So these are the reference line for this beam.
this reference line is for the shear force diagram and this is for the bending moment diagram this is the reference line for the bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter while shear force is always in the unit of kilonewton now to start with the shear force diagram this 4 kilonewton force is acting in the downward direction so I will bring this in a negative direction minus 4 is these are the reference lines so it is 0 0 and below value will be taken as negative and the above value will, value will be considered as positive so it is acting downward 4 so we are taking the downward forces are negative so 4 is acting downward so it is minus 4 now there is no load on the beam so it will be a straight line there is force reaction Ra acting in the upward direction so it will be positive so 6.87 so minus 4 plus 6.87 we got 2.87 plus 2.87 so it means I have to bring this into the plus 2.87 now there is again no load on the beam so it is a straight line and then 5 kN is acting downward so I will again bring this into negative because 2.87 was positive and then minus 5 is acting downward so we got minus 2.13 so minus 2.13 means it is a negative direction now again there is no load on the beam so straight line and there is RB here 5.125 acting in the upper direction so minus 2.13 was negative and plus 5.125 acting in the upper direction so we got almost 3.0 so 3.0 is plus 3.0 so we will bring this into upper direction plus 3.0 plus 3 again there is no load on the beam so straight line and there is again 3 kN acting downward so plus 3 was this plus 3 and now acting 3 is in acting in downward direction so minus 3 equal to 0 so I will bring this into 0 line so this is the shear force diagram these are the positive shear boxes and these are the negative shear boxes now after finding out the shear boxes we can easily draw the bending moment diagram now we know this dimension that this is 3 meter this is 3 meter this is 4 meter this is 4 meter and also this is 3 meter so from this we can easily draw our bending moment diagram to start with the bending moment diagram let's consider these are the reference lines and above is positive and below is negative so now this is a negative shear box so we have to find the area of the shear boxes and the area of the shear boxes will be the bending moment value so area of the shear boxes of shear boxes will be the bending moment value so we are just interested in the area of the shear boxes so this is a rectangle box with a height of minus 4 and with a length of 3 meter. So we have to find the area of this box which is a rectangle based into height. So base is 3 and height is minus 4. So we got minus 12. So minus 12 is the bending moment here at this point from 0 up to the minus 12. And this is in the unit of kilonewton meter. So this is the area of this box. Now this was negative but this box is positive because it is plus. So we have to find out the area of this plus 2 box plus box which is height is 2.87 and base is 4 meter. So by multiplying we got 11.48 plus direction. Now this is positive while this is negative. So we have to add these two. We got minus 0 0.52 so it means minus 0 0.52 means that we are still in the negative direction so it is minus 0 0.52 here because 11.48 was less than 12 so we are still in the negative value now to find out the area of the third box it is again negative box so it will be subtracted from this value so the height is minus 2.13 and the base is 4 meter so we got here minus 8.52 so this box area will be subtracted to this 4.52 so 0.52 was negative now again we have 8.52 so it will be minus 
9 almost 9 so by looking into this value this is minus 9 so we will again plot this into minus 9 here in this way it is minus 9 now the area of this box which is a positive box so it will be a4 and height is plus 3 and this base is also 3 so it is plus 9 so now this plus 9 and this minus 9 will be added minus 9 plus 9 we got 0 so this will be 0 here so we have 0 at the two ends of the beam while we have some value of the bending moment in between while the maximum bending moment here at this point which is minus 12 kilonewton meter hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force in bending moment just finding out the shear boxes value and then finding out the area of the shear boxes this will be the bending moment value but it should be kept in mind that you should add or subtract these values according to your shear boxes direction either it is plus shear box or negative shear box hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos thank you for watching our video